Hey, what is up guys? F64 here. Wait, no, this is F6 Tech. Shit, it's a new channel. What is this shit? Hey, what is up guys? F6 Tech here. Ha, huh, I got it right. And uh, welcome to the first ever tutorial on this new channel. Um, so, today, first tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace the thermal paste in your laptop. Now, obviously not all laptops are going to be the exact same here. Uh, so if you can't figure out how to get inside your laptop, then go to ifixit.com and go to their teardown section and you should be able to find your laptop there. Once we get inside the machine, it should be a pretty standardized process. Uh, so let's do that. So before we get started, there are a few tools that you're going to need. First of all, it's great if you have an anti-static wrist strap like this one. If not, not a huge deal. Just be careful. Next up, we're going to need some tools. This is a pretty extensive toolkit that I have here. You don't need everything that you can see in this little toolkit. Uh, pretty much all you need is like a screwdriver and maybe one of those little cases to hold your screws and something to pry off the back of your laptop if you really need it. Next up, we need some thermal compound. This stuff's pretty cheap, goes from like six to $12. Uh, and yeah, you can find it just about anywhere that sells computer equipment. Another thing that I actually forgot to hold up when I was originally recording this footage, we're going to need some rubbing alcohol to clean off the, uh, the original thermal paste and some Q-tips or, I don't know, like a paper towel or some toilet paper. Actually, don't use toilet paper. That'll get all stringy and not good for your, for your CPU and GPU. Uh, but yeah, just something to wipe the, the original thermal compound off. So, while we're getting started here, I figured that this would probably be worth mentioning in case someone wants to check this out. Uh, the laptop that we're using in this video is actually the MSI GE70 Apache Pro 12. Uh, it's pretty cool from what I've seen of it. Uh, if you guys would like a full review of that, let me know in the comments, because I could probably do that. All right, now that we're inside the laptop, you should see these heat pipe type things running along here. Uh, this one is the CPU, this one is the GPU, and you can see that they're both coming from the fan over here. Uh, so your, your setup inside your laptop will probably be a little bit different. You may not have a dedicated GPU or whatever, but you should see these heat pipes. Uh, and at the end of that, that's where we're gonna apply the new paste. Alright guys, so before you touch anything, I just want to show you this. The previous owner here, who uh, he said that he replaced the thermal paste, it's very clear that he actually tried to bend the heat pipe here. Never do that. The heat pipe should be able to should be able to get them off pretty easily once you get your fan out. If you can't figure out how to do that, go over to iFixit. Never ever try and bend those because it can cause serious problems and it's pretty lame that this guy tried to do it. So yeah, just a heads up there. All right, so right now we're just loosening the brackets holding the cooling components over the CPU. Uh, you can see when I undo this last screw, it does bump up a little bit because that friggin' heat pipe is bent. I hate that. All right, so now we're just unscrewing the fan right here. This is a single 6,000 RPM fan cooling both the GPU and the CPU in this guy, which is pretty impressive for, for something this small and compact. Uh, that's pretty awesome. And the thermal temps on this guy are actually pretty good. So that's, that's awesome. Now you can see as soon as we get the fan out here, it lifts out pretty easily, as well as the cooling pipes, they should just come right out, and uh, that, that should be how it is on most other laptops, but again, if you can't figure that out, just, just Google it, and yeah. And if you have any compressed air or anything laying around, then this is a great time to like clean out dust around your fan or whatever, that's what I'm doing here. Okay guys, so now that I have both of these chips exposed, I can show you what it looks like to do a bad job applying your thermal compound. So, I'm betting that the guy who did this before me took a credit card and actually, or, or just some sort of card, and uh, smeared the thermal compound around on the chips. This is unnecessary. A lot of people seem to think that you need to do this, but if you do that, then it's going to end up flowing over the edge of the chip when you compress it down with the cooler. Alright, so obviously our first step here is to clean off the original thermal paste. Now, this should be a little bit easier for you to do than for me, because hopefully your computer wasn't previously messed with by some whack job. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it should still be the same regardless of how much thermal paste is on. 
So to do this, we're gonna need the rubbing alcohol and the Q-tips that I showed you earlier. Now, what I like to do with rubbing alcohol is uh, pour it in the cap and of course pour it everywhere else as well, because <laughs> I'm awful. Um, but yeah, pour it in the cap so that you don't use too much uh, and then you can just dip your Q-tips in there and go over and wipe it off of your CPU. Be very careful to not get the little tiny strands from the uh, Q-tips on your CPU because that could cause issues with overheating and kind of just make the thermal paste actually just useless. So here you can see that I'm actually scraping away some of the thermal paste around the edge with a screwdriver. Now I wouldn't recommend this unless there is just a shitload of extra paste everywhere like there was here, uh, and if you do have to do this, then be very careful of those little power supply doohickeys around the edge of the chip, and just, just try not to scrape anything, usually good, good rules to live by. Alright, so now that both of our chips are all shiny and nice, we can get to the actual point of this video, well, the main point of this video, which is applying the new thermal paste. Alright, so there are a few different ways to do this depending on the shape of the chip you're working with. So if your chip is long and thin like this one, then uh, you're just going to want to spread a thin line of the thermal paste right down the middle. Try and keep it as even as possible. You can see my hands are pretty goddamn shaky from all that jitter clicking. Um, but yeah, so try and keep it as, as thin and as even as possible. Uh, if you have to go back over it a few times like I'm doing here, just get it, just get it as perfect as you can. Also, if you do mess up a little bit like I did right here, have no fear, you can always just clear that off with uh, the Q-tips that you were using earlier. No need to put the alcohol on this time though, you can just take a, take a raw Q-tip and just wipe it, wipe it, wipe it good. There we go, now that we've got our CPU looking nice, we can move on over to the GPU. Now the GPU in this particular computer, and probably in yours too, uh, is actually a square, unlike the first one. Uh, so with a square processor, we're going to want to put a dab of the thermal compound right in the middle of the chip. Also, just to clear this up, thermal compound and thermal paste, I've been switching around a little bit throughout the video, they're interchangeable, they both mean the same thing, so don't freak out. <laughs> And once again, if you do put a little bit too much on, feel free to clear it away with the Q-tip. Just uh, be careful not to get any of the little strands from the Q-tip on the processor. Once again, uh, it's, it can cause issues with overheating and make it so that it was useless for you to even replace your thermal paste. So beware of that. All right, so there we go. We've now applied new thermal paste to both the GPU and the CPU in your laptop, hopefully. Um, so yeah, just before you reapply the cooler, be sure that you clean that off the same way that you cleaned the thermal paste off the chips originally. Uh, I'm not going to show how to put this laptop back together, just watch the video in reverse if you really need to see that, um, and it'll probably be different for your laptop anyway, so that shouldn't be a huge deal. Alright everybody, thank you so much for watching the first ever tutorial on this channel. Hopefully you all enjoyed, there's a lot more coming where this came from, so if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe, drop a like, and let me know down in the comments that you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. I think this channel is going to be probably about weekly uploads. It won't be the daily uploads that I do over on my gaming channel because obviously there's a lot more work that goes into these. The editing here took me probably 15 hours to complete and it took me it only took me about an hour to to replace the thermal compound probably less than that um, but yeah so the editing on these is a lot more only one episode a, a week unless this channel really starts to take off uh, so yeah maybe it maybe it will start to, to take off Jesus Christ I'm rambling again that's what I do those of you who are new to the channel and you haven't seen my my YouTube channel you'll know that for my outros I always end up just rambling okay that's gonna do it. See you in the next one. Bye.